I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to grill asparagus. Um, I'm actually using a grill pan here, um, so if you live in an apartment building or you're just in a house without an actual outdoor grill, don't fret, you can still enjoy the yummy grill line goodness that comes with cooking with a grill. So that's what I'm going to use today um, for our asparagus. I have these three stalks of already cleaned, prepped, ready to go asparagus. Um, I have a little wooden spatula that I'm going to use, a fork, um, salt and pepper that I'm going to do to taste, a little bit of olive oil, and this bag to actually coat the asparagus with. Um, especially if you're using a traditional grill, you'd want to do this because if you just try to pour on you know, olive oil onto the grill, it would like obviously completely escape through the grate. Um, so just put your asparagus stalks into the bag and then you're gonna add um, enough olive oil to coat it. And how much you use will depend upon how much asparagus you have in there, obviously, um, so that I don't like totally drown it. I'm gonna measure it out with a little cap because that's how I like to do it. But if you're feeling very brave, feel free to just dump it on in there. Um, so just open it up and just kind of pour on top. And I'm gonna do that again. I'm going to do it one more time because I want it to get nice and brown and crispy. The olive oil helps with that. Okay, so I've got this. Okay, so now I'm going to, I'm actually going to add in my salt and pepper to taste first. Um, you don't have to do that at all. If you don't like it, I just like a little bit of salt and pepper um, in. Just do this because then you're going to toss and coat it. So just scooch it down so that you can really get to it and that your salt and pepper isn't wasted on the on the sides. So just get some in there like this. And then a little bit of pepper too. But again, you don't need to you don't need to do that. And you know, if you want us to get wild and crazy in lieu of olive oil, you could certainly do some sort of like vegetable marinade, like any other kind of sauce like marinade that you want to do, any kind of grilling sauce that you have, go wild. So now I'm just gonna Kind of shake this back up again, shake, 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 shake. So see, it's getting all over. And now I'm going to place it on the grill pan. And the important thing, especially if you want those nifty little grill marks, which is totally the entire reason why I grill, you need to place it so that the grill marks, you know, go horizontally across the body. So see the little like rivets. If you if you lay it like this, you'll only get like maybe two on each side. So like this. And like this and the, the oil will start to bubble pretty quickly so just keep your hands out of there you don't want it to be like too super hot because then it's just gonna char on the outside and the inside won't be cooked so just want to do it like on like medium heat so we're just gonna let it chill out there on each side um, each side depends upon like how strong your grill is and how thick your asparagus stalks are but I'm gonna let this hang up for about two minutes before I check it and see if it's time to flip. So we'll be back then. Okay, so it's been about like a minute and a half to two minutes and I've checked each side and the, the, the side that's been cooking, the side that's been down in the pan is getting those nice brown grill marks and I don't want it to get like super black and charred. I just want it to be, have those nice, you know, those nice little, little grill marks. So now I'm gonna turn it. Um, you could use tongs if you had tongs. You can use a spatula if you want. But for me, because they're so round and slippery, I prefer just to quickly use my finger and a fork. So I'm just going to turn it over so you can see that I'm getting those nice grill marks. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm gonna let it cook for probably about another two minutes on this side and then we'll be ready to go and serve. Okay, so now we're all set. It's been about another two minutes. I've done the fork test. It goes in easily so I know my asparagus is ready to eat. So let's turn off the heat, take them out of the pan. I'm going to use this spatula. Okay, so here it is. It has all these lovely little grill marks. It smells fantastic. It's ready to serve with maybe like another grilled something, some grilled vegetables, some grilled meat. Um, steak's fantastic on a salad on its own, grilled asparagus is absolutely delicious. And it'll still have that little bit of crunch. And the nice thing about grilled asparagus or sauteed asparagus is that you don't run as high of a risk of overcooking uh, as, as you would if you like steamed it or boiled it, for example. So it's ready to go and eat 
however you enjoy it. It'll be totally delicious. And there you have it. That's how you grill asparagus. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you want to learn how to make, send me an email at requests at mahalo.com. And don't forget to check out our other great videos.